Hi, and welcome to this webinar on how to transform your support and service with KCS and knowledge integration. First up, some housekeeping. All attendees are muted upon entry. Please submit questions in the Q&A panel during the webinar, and we will answer them at the end. Also, a recording of today's webinar will be distributed. In this webinar, this is the agenda. My name is Lena Storming from Comaround. During the first part of the webinar, I will explain how you can become a knowledge-centered organization and how to create value and improve service outcome with the methodology KCS. During the second part of the webinar, Richard Lynn from Vulcan Software will demonstrate how knowledge management and incident management can be integrated seamlessly, an advantage for both the service desk agent and the end users. First, some background about Comoran and myself. Comoran are expert in self-service and knowledge management methodology, KCS, Knowledge Centered Service. We have offices in San Francisco, Stockholm, and Oslo, and our customers use our solution, Comoran Knowledge, and our training and consultory services in more than 100 countries across the globe. We have more than 20 years experience in the industry and we are market leaders in Europe and up and coming in the US. I'm head of training and consulting at Comoran and also one of the 15 certified KCS trainers in the world. I specialize in helping self -desk, service desk achieve knowledge management success as well as implementing and working with cost effective self-service solutions. Good morning. morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of uh, Wolken and also Comaround, we want to thank you for attending our, our webinar today. And uh, we hope that uh, you guys have lots of questions for us uh, at the end of this, uh, this, this uh, session here. Um, Wolken Software is kind of new to the United States. Uh, globally, we've been profitable for over five years now. Uh, in the U.S., we're one of the newest enterprise service management companies with a handful of customers in uh, high-tech, finance, healthcare, consumer products, and uh, government. Um, at Walken, our larger global customers uh, enjoy the fact that we um, are a very scalable solution, uh, enterprise-worthy solution, supporting over 30,000 incident requests per day um, in uh, some of our customers. Our typical customers are really mid-sized customers uh, who uh, are companies who accepted our nine-day challenge, and uh, we uh, were up and running on a new enterprise ITSM platform uh, in nine days or, or less. Um, we really believe that knowledge center service is the key to transforming um, all enterprise service desks, and that's why we're proud to partner with uh, the leader in knowledge management, KCS methodology, uh, come around. Um, we really do believe in the notion that sort of knowledge management is what empowers people and if you can use it effectively, you can reduce incident resolution time, increase customer satisfaction time, increase overall satisfaction um, in employees as well, and really sort of transform your organization to a uh, knowledge-centered um, organization. Thank you, Helena. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Richard. We look forward to hear more from you later on. Thank you. So, how do we become a knowledge-centered organization? We implement a methodology that focuses on knowledge as the key asset of the organization. We get a logical workflow that let us work efficiently with knowledge. And the result is improved service delivery and achieve business objectives. So, how do we do this? With knowledge-centered service. KCS. KCS was created by the U.S. nonprofit organization Consortium for Service Innovation back in 1994, integrating the best practices from companies such as Oracle, Dell, eBay, and Cisco into a methodology that other organizations all over the world can benefit from. 
the great thing about KCS is that it's logical. The fundamentals are either what we probably already do, or perhaps in not such a structured manner, or what we know that we should be doing. Create content as a byproduct of answering questions. Evolve content based on demand and usage. Develop a knowledge base of our collective experience to date. And recognize learning, collaboration, sharing, and improving. Some hard facts benefit of adopting KCSR. Up to 60% shorter time to resolution as we can easily find and use our collective knowledge through our knowledge base. Up to 50% fewer cases at the service desk to successfully sell service solution. More satisfied customers and more effective and confident service desk agents and overall cost reductions and achieved organizational business goals. But let's first take it from the place where it all starts, the customer. This could be a pretty accurate description of a normal day in the office. Support teams are required to solve more questions with the same resources. This is done through an increasing number of channels, for example, uh, through incidents, through email, through phone, through chat, social media. One major challenge is the ever-changing landscape as processes are changing, tools are being updated or replaced, and people are switching jobs. So how will we be able to cope? And how do we guide the customer in the right direction? Well. We have to train people who have the daily interaction with our customers and use methods and tools that enable the organization to efficiently reuse its knowledge. We must shift our focus to knowledge through content. Content is king. Each service desk agent sits on so much business critical knowledge. What would happen if the support team disappeared tomorrow? Who would rapidly respond to all of, the, all of the customer's issues? We must optimize our workflow and processes of the support team. We need to capture the knowledge from each service desk agent. We need to structure it in order to make it searchable and findable for both the agent and the customer. We need to share the knowledge so that other parts of the organization may benefit. And we need to reuse what we already know. And by doing so, we will improve the knowledge that we already have. So these are the four elements in the double loop process. KCS double loop process. Today, we will briefly look at the solve loop which describes the daily workflow for the services agent on the team. And we will also look at the benefits for process integration, which Richard will talk about later on. The first step of the solve loop is capture. Start searching to see if an answer already in, exists. And if not, when we listen to the customer describing the problem and capture how the customer is describing the issue. This creates the beginning of a new article. If the agent did not find an appropriate article after searching and doing research, this is when a new knowledge article should be created. It is crucial to start a knowledge creating process when you are interacting with the customer. The new article needs to be in the customer context. This is because the customer experience, we have to get down how the customer is uh, experiencing the issue in the customer owns world. Even if the description is technically incorrect, the customer description is what improves the article findability for other customers. 
structure, how to organize knowledge. Good structure gives context to the problem. It improves readability and it promotes consistency. A clear structure, easy tools and a simple template helps with findability and readability. A good template improves readability for non-English customers and are even better for automatic trans tra machine translations. Complete thoughts, not sentences. Use bullet forms on number lists. And guys, keep it simple. Don't over-engineer things. Use a simple template for your knowledge article and always state the issue, environment and resolution and, if applicable, the cause. Reuse. We always start with searching the knowledge base. If we find a solution in there, we're using it. And we're going to do this for every time we have an incident. Our first search should be in the customer context. Our next search is in the service desk agent context. If your system can handle it, link the relevant knowledge article to your incident. This gives us a good source for future measurements. And publish and share articles internally to entire organization as soon as you have new knowledge available. I can actually not emphasize enough on the importance of reusing knowledge. We only solve an issue the first time it reaches the service desk. Every time after that, we are only answering a known problem. And your service desk should be focusing on answering new problems, as known problems can be easily solved in self-service. Agents need to understand the issue before presenting it to them, uh, before they seek to solve it. And the first activity should always be to search knowledge base. This limits duplicate work, and even if you don't find what they're looking for, Existing articles can be helpful in resolving new issues. Improve. Continuously improvement. Get articles available quickly once the demand arises. Then strive to improve articles by being reused frequently. If you have interacted with the article, it is your responsibility that that article is updated. Reuse is review. Popular articles are continuously updated and remain relevant. Fix or flag articles to be corrected dependently on your license level. And we have a shared ownership and collective responsibility for our knowledge base. When the agent finds an article that can help provide an answer, it is his or her responsibility to improve this article if needed. Ownership is shared and the very important, you touched the last principle, work wonder. This way, the knowledge base is continuously updated and the knowledge creating process is significantly shortened. We only develop those articles that are in demand and the just-in-time quality is good enough. Customers want to know what you know as soon as you know it. KCS recommends the UFA workflow, which is the process of knowledge sharing. So, if we are improving and creating knowledge based on demand, we are capturing the customer context in the article. Then we are doing this in the incident process. This is the UFA model. Use it, flag it, fix it, and add it. This is the recommended daily incident workflow. UFA makes it as easy as possible for the support team. Okay, so let me briefly describe how it works. We get an incident into the service desk, and first of all, we have to decide if this is an incident or not. So in this case, yes, it is an incident that is relevant to us. And for you guys that have a high-paced environment with 
getting in that same question over and over again, if you can integrate a quick click function, uh, would really help you with the statistics as well of the incidents that are coming in and which articles that are being reused. So quick click it and just use it and move on to your next incident. Otherwise, in an uh, environment where we don't have this high pressure of the same question coming in over and over again, we should always start with searching the knowledge base. The first thing you do is to capture down how your customer is describing it and we are searching it in a customer own context. Did we find an article that was relevant? No? Well, we need to do more research this time in your own world as a service desk agent. Or if not, if you can't find anything, well, then we need to escalate and do some more research. Wherever you escalate it down to the second or third line, or you yourself manage to uh, uh, create a new article or find any more additional information through other articles, you're solving it. And by solving it, you're also adding a new article to your knowledge base and providing your customer with the article and to get it with some feedback. If you did search the knowledge base and you did find an article and you see that the article is correct and complete, just give it to your customer and solve that incident. On the other side, if you didn't find an article or the agent don't have editing rights, so if it does have editing rights, and are confident with the changes, well, go ahead and fix it. On the other side, if the agent doesn't have any editing rights or are not confident with the changes, we're going to flag it and get some help to fix that article in order to get back to your customer. To get a better understanding of the importance of the principles, Let's look at the life cycle of an incident. Knowledge is dynamic and need to be created, managed and delivered for just-in-time accuracy and freshness. One justification for this is that the value of support knowledge begins to diminish 30 days after the issue is first discovered. Unfortunately for many organizations, it will take more than 30 days, even 60, 90 days or more uh, in order to document and release new articles. This is an expensive proposition that misses a major portion of a content window of opportunity. Working with KCS, you will be able to reduce the amount of time it takes to create and publish new knowledge. This will reflect on the number of rediscovery searches in your service desk. So, as soon as a new issue reaches level one and you don't find any current knowledge, you will start creating a work in progress article, making this instantly available to other team members so you encourage collaboration in order to solve the issue as soon as possible. By pushing out knowledge to your customer on demand, you will notice a change in the rediscovery curve. And this is only for one incident. So think about it. How many incidents do you have a month? We must realize that as soon as an incident reaches the service desk, the knowledge solving process begins. So now you have the keys in becoming a knowledge centered organization and how to create value and improve service outcome. So what is the technology that is required? The answer to that is a self-service solution that preferably supports the KCS methodology. Most support organizations have a first, second and maybe third line of support. And we all know that the more complex the incident the more, the more it moves further along to the right and that the cost of solving the incident increases the further we move to the right. And this, this is where self-service 
helps by enabling a level zero support. We are shifting focus towards the left. By offering our service, we will not only improve the customer experience, but also be aware of all the questions and problems our customer have. That will normally end up in Google or other places where irrelevant information is likely to interfere. We will also be able to structure our collective knowledge, reuse it and improve it, and listen to customer feedback. So if you want to build the best possible self-service solution for your organization and your customers, you have to select a tool that is based on the modern technologies, have a dynamic content, is user-friendly, and have a fast and smart search engine. Functionality is critical, but don't underestimate the user experience. Your employees should be able to have a short startup with minimal training, and the tools should be guiding your employees to the desired outcome. We have customers that have decreased the onboarding time for service desk agents from six weeks down to two weeks, and even from one week to a few hours. Also make sure that knowledge articles are easy available and that your employees can figure out how to use the solution themselves. Solution that requires long training programs and heavy user manuals are a certain recipe for disaster. You are looking for a tool that can enhance the daily workflow and improve the efficiency of your team and in a user-friendly way. And it should be easily integrated to other ITSM tools. Because you need to present the solution where the customer are when they need the help. If you buy in on the KCS methodology and really want to maximize the benefit of knowledge management, my recommendation is to invest in a self-service solution that has the latest KCS stamp on it. And there are only four in the market, and we are happy to have developed one of them. Come around knowledge. So, in order to create a workflow without interruptions, we need to look at integration points. We want to integrate our incident management and knowledge management, and we want to have the user experience within one tool with one login. We are aiming for a seamless integration. KCS recommends a few target areas for such integrations, and these are the recommended integration points for that. Search the knowledge base from the incident tool. Link articles from the knowledge base to your incident tool. And view knowledge articles directly from the incident. Add articles to the knowledge base from the incident tool. And collaborate by easily contact between members of the team or outwards towards a customer. So, together with Vulkan Software, we have created an integration between Vulkan Software and Comoran Knowledge. And Richard, he will show you how it works and the benefits that comes with it. So, over to you, Richard. Thank you, Elena. <coughs> um, since we're a little bit new to the market, I wanted to give a little, just a couple of slides on introduction of us. Um, there are many, many uh, ITSM platforms out there. Uh, supposedly, the last count, there were hundreds, and um, many of the classic ones, the traditional ones in the market, are very, very heavy, and you probably know who those, they are because they've been around for a long time, and they pretty much require an army of consultants to implement and uh, customize, and uh, they're kind of cumbersome, and they're very expensive, especially when you get down to the customization and uh, consulting um, sort of contracts that you wind up putting together to put these systems in place. Um, there are also many, many new ITSM platforms out there uh, that have sprung up. They're very quick to implement. Um, they're very, very lightweight, um, but most of them are not powerful enough for the enterprise and they're not very flexible either uh, when it comes down to um, what you need to do in order to get something that's ready for the enterprise. 
of course, the punchline here is that Vulkan is uh, just right. The Vulkan Enterprise Service Desk uh, comprises also incident management, problem management, change management, um, asset and configuration management, and of course, uh, knowledge management um, as well in our platform. <clears throat> and we've seen this actually in, in several different examples where uh, Vulkan and Comround is even more uh, of a powerful solution uh, than, than one had pre previously been imagined. Um, we've sort of seen as the number of articles linked to incidences um, increase over time. Um, that's basically the, uh, the blue line at the, uh, at the bottom of the chart. that you will actually see this uh, curve, uh, or actually this, this straight line, um, sort of go down in terms of reduction in overall incident resolution rate. And we've seen them decrease as much as 50% uh, when you actually have an integrated solution, uh, a knowledge-based solution, a knowledge management system combined with your um, incident and daily sort of support and service uh, system. Um, here's an example of uh, something that, that is sort of part of a daily flow in the, in the life of a, a service agent. If you will. Uh, on the left is uh, Vulcan, and that's a, sort of our typical incident screen. And um, an agent on any given day would search for a topic. In this particular case, the agent was searching for, looking for an article on issue with daily backup. And when the agent went and did not find it, as per sort of what uh, Lena was talking about before. Um, if you search the topic and then you don't actually find it and the problem doesn't actually exist, then you create it. And so we have the ability to pull up a, uh, a screen um, or a dialog box here with um, come around and actually allow you to go in to actually create the article. Um, at this particular stage, um, typically it's a work in process because at some point it also needs to be validated. I guess the example over here is one that has actually been published per se, that's okay. Um, and then now you've actually attached or created a new article um, so that you can actually attach it to your uh, ticket at, at some point or your incident at some point. And now you've effectively gone through at least two stages of the, the workflow of a, um, a typical process. <coughs> The, um, again, sort of on the search topic, sort of not found over here, uh, what you can do within the Vulcan system, uh, the Vulcan Enterprise Service Desk, is that you click on a button, which is the reference button, and at that point, you will actually pull up uh, articles from the come around system and actually be able to link to the knowledge and actually uh, the incident. And then now you have it uh, so that other people can view it um, the, the people who are involved in the solving of this particular incident um, or solving of this particular problem, um, including the customer, if you allow them to as well, can actually take a look at it and, and actually see the articles that are actually linked to the incident request. <clears throat> um, here's a, uh, a, the other example uh, that actually Lena was talking about as well. So what if you actually search for a topic, and again, we're using sort of issue with daily backup, and uh, you actually find it. Um, and in this particular example, um, you are actually seeing articles come up from your company, as in all your knowledge base from your company that's usually housed within a common health system, in addition to sort of the knowledge base that you have within your uh, ITSM uh, service management platform or your incident capturing platform. And so you're getting sort of the best of both worlds and you're getting articles that are coming back to you uh, that are relevant from all different sources where you can truly tap into all the different uh, aspects of knowledge within your company and truly really getting to sort of reuse um, some of the knowledge that people have created, some of the people the knowledge that people have gathered together so that you're truly empowering your people to take advantage of all the knowledge that exists within your enterprise. And here we have sort of the, uh, an example as well of um, what if you simply just want a, a question answered 
and I see that, that the, you know, oftentimes the sort of your customers you know, will come up and they just have simple questions um, that need to be answered. And um, basically we advocate the same notion as what Lena was talking about. If you actually shift the left um, and you, because if you shift right, obviously the problems get more, much more costly and much more expensive if you shift left. Now it actually empowers people to, uh, especially your service desk agents, to be able to focus on the uh, more challenging issues, the more interesting issues, as opposed to the same issues uh, repeated over and over again. So why not implement a self-service mechanism whereby you can actually have users come in, do their searches, find the information that they need, give the search amongst both knowledge that's within the organization as well as knowledge from your service desk, and then pull up um, interesting topics that are uh, both help their problem as well as maybe interesting to them. And so you'll see this thing sort of sectioned off into favorites, most popular, and then recently added. This is what one of the things that, that we advocate as well in terms of the uh, overall uh, integration between our products and the power that we give to uh, our enterprises. So we've actually seen some very interesting uh, data come back. And uh, I think uh, Lena mentioned this as well. Certainly, you will see uh, a reduction in overall incident resolution time, uh, simply because many times you can just go in, link to articles, and reuse them uh, when you are actually in the flow of your daily uh, problem solving or incident management. Um, overall, uh, we see also fewer number of tickets resulting, because simply then more and more people are able to find the information that they want, and find the information that they need to solve their own problems. And this ultimately results in higher customer satisfaction levels and uh, better SLA scores, so overall happier organizations. Um, thus, Woken plus Comround is probably the ultimate sort of empowering solution for the enterprise to enable the knowledge uh, enterprise these days. I think that's the conclusion of sort of my slides. Um, happy to uh, answer questions. I think Elena and I are both here to answer any questions uh, you have for us regarding either uh, our systems um, or the ACS methodology or uh, ITSM uh, in general. So um, please feel free to ask us questions and thank you very much for attending our webinar. Well, thank you, Richard, as well. That was a great demonstration of how the integration between Vulcan software and Common Knowledge works. Um, thank you, Marina. Thank you. I have one question coming up here. Uh, it asks if um, uh, Common can be integrated to other systems or if Vulcan also have uh, other integration to other systems. And, of course, uh, we have built up both our systems in that way that uh, we, they're built on uh, REST IPIs, so it's easily integrated for common knowledge to all those uh, leading ITSM systems that are out there. Uh, and same for Vulkan as well, for Vulkan software. So that was a great question. Uh, it's another question here in regards to integration. Um, how many points of uh, integration is uh, recommended or is it okay to only start off with uh, uh, one or two points? Uh, how should you go around? Go ahead um, with that. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, this is another great question that comes up uh, all the time. And um, I recommend to start looking at the tool that you have today and then uh, see where you can start integration. Like the first point of, uh, of integrated solution, which I recommend, is the search field. So whenever you are in your incident system in Vulkan here and are starting to type like your new incident, if you there from there can get like a, a pop-up list of uh, easily of articles available in your knowledge base from there. So you from there as well can just pick an article and link it to your incident. That will really help you with the workflow that you have um, for the customer and then you can easily send out that knowledge back to your customer. Uh, another integration point that I find is very effective is when the customer is going into um, to the tools, your RM tool, starting to type in the problem or are starting to uh, create an incident. 
that before they are even allowed to to send in the incident in this place to have a pop-up list here as well of possible solution articles available. That's a very effective um, integration point as well. So there are many ways to go, but the first simple, see what you can do, and um, we can help you guys out with uh, with looking at what kind of integration point that works for you and the solution that Vulcan and Comron has built together. I think that's an excellent uh, a point of starting as well if you want to work with KCS or if you just want to optimize on your workflow. All right, well, thank you so much. That's all we had time for today. I hope you enjoyed this webinar and please give us some feedback or just feel free to email both of us um, if you have any more questions coming up at a later stage. So if you want some more information, uh, go visit our website or uh, you can even go to the kcsacademy.net or service innovation as well for more information about KCS. Thank you.